Hey, what's up, guys? So we're in my garage, and you might be asking why, and that's because today I'm gonna give you guys a little bit of a video on this Craftsman hydraulic jack and this two and a quarter ton Craftsman jack stand. You buy these together as a combo. I got these two years ago at Sears for my birthday, but this is not gonna be a review. This is gonna be more of a public service announcement on why not to get these and how dangerous they are. And even though it's a lifetime warranty, you shouldn't buy something just because it says lifetime warranty. Now, I don't know the exact model of this jack, but I'll put it on the screen right now. And yeah, so let me set this stuff down, we'll adjust the camera. First, I'll tell you guys the, about the jack stand, and then we'll, we'll talk a little bit about the jack. All right guys, first we're gonna draw our attention to the jack stand here. Cause I think this is, like this is just a lifting device, the jack. The jack stand is really what holds your car. And if your jack stand doesn't work good, that's really dangerous. Like the jack, you know, is kind of dangerous because you're lifting up your car. But this is what's actually going to hold the car. You know, this you shouldn't never work on your car just on the jack. That's extremely dangerous and stupid. So don't do that. But anyways, this jack stand it feels really nice. Like here's the here's the model number of it, so you know the exact model number. Okay, but you know it feels really nice. This all came as a set too, like at Sears. My parents got me this like two years ago for my birthday. So you know this it works good. You know, but it feels solid. But here's, here's the thing here. This one, now mind you, I've had this two years. I've probably changed my brakes twice, changed my oil four times, you know, or something. I haven't done that, used it that many times. Okay, first off, um, there's already like some rust and stuff on it, and it just sits in my trunk, so that's kind of odd that it would get that much rust just being in my trunk for two years. But, okay, so this, this is on here with just like a pin. You can see right there, this pin snapped off. And you can see right in there, that pin went flying out and I have no idea where it is. Okay, so I had my car, I jacked my car up. It was probably about on that height. Okay, so I, I used the jack and I slowly, you know, I had it, you know, where it's supposed to go. I slowly put my car in there like you're supposed to. Like three seconds later, like before my jack even finally got all the way compressed, I heard like, and boom, and it, the whole thing like slammed all the way down. So it slammed all the way down, my car slammed. So thank God I wasn't under the car or it could have killed me, probably would have killed me. But you know, I had my tire on still, so it didn't, you know, it didn't mess anything up that bad. It just scared me, you know, and broke my jack stand. But you can see the way that pin flew off, there's no saving that, because that pin, that pin is supposed to hold this bar, and that bar locks, you know, that part that goes on the teeth. So this jack stand is screwed. So there is a lifetime warranty, but do I take the risk of the new one killing me, or do I take it back and try to get something else? So I've never had any problems with Craftsman's products before. I've always liked Craftsman tools. I have cra a Craftsman mechanic set that I really like. It's just this, this in particular, I would not get a Craftsman jack ever again. I'll just say that. Okay, now let's start at the jack. Okay, so this, now first off, this one also has quite a bit of rust for just being sitting in my trunk. I mean, maybe because I live in Chicago area, it gets really cold winters, probably not the best idea, but it's a jack. You need it, when you need an emergency, you need it to be there. Okay, so first things first, uh, this here has bent. Just in a couple times I've used this. Um, like this is supposed to, hold on, let me see if I can zoom in on this. A little bit here. Okay, so this, it's got this like tooth here. Oh, sorry, like right here, and it's supposed to lock in right there. But check it out, it doesn't lock in. It, it, it's this is bent up, so it doesn't even fit in the groove, and I can just like keep spinning it. So you know, it is not safe at all because of that. I mean, you can still get it. Like you guys, I, sometimes I can get it to just catch. You know, once you yeah, see but it's not where it's supposed to be and I'm damaging this even more. But, and then it's hard to get it out, it's just, you know, and I gotta jiggle it, it's, it, for having it only two years, it's a way more beat up than it ever, ever should be. Okay, but now, let me show you the thing that's even more dangerous about this thing. Let me show you what happens when I jack up my car and how careful I gotta be jacking up my car with this thing. Okay guys, so now it, it actually does jack up the car pretty good. There's just a lot of bounce in it, like as if, as if there's air in the line, and no matter how many times you purge it, it does this. It just, like you have to do it twice as many times, and sometimes, not, not always, but sometimes, as you go up, it'll slowly drop a little, as if there's air in the line. So, I have purged this thing like a hundred times. This is probably the best I've ever got it to hold, but the higher you go, 
also too, the heavier the car, like I tried to do my, I had to do the brakes on my aunt's Honda Pilot and it was, it, I, it was like not even working. Like I would get it up and it would slowly go down. This car is not that heavy, so it's not doing as bad. Do will see some bounce and, and like I shouldn't have to go that much to get it to go up. So I think the problem is there's just not enough hydraulic jack oil in there, which isn't a big deal, but it, if coming out of the factory, it should not be like that. You can notice the car's slowly lowering. Um, it's hard to tell, but it has lowered like half an inch probably just in the last 30 seconds. But it's not where it won't hold the car, but it's definitely not ideal. And I do think it just, I think it probably worked fine. It just doesn't have enough oil in it. So if you're somebody that buys a jack and you, you know, you, you only use it on emergency, you, you know, you don't want the time you have to fiddle around getting, purging the air out of it to be, you know, right then on the road. But yeah, overall, it still works good. It hires the car lowers it. It's just, this gets so stuck. And this is not the time when you want to be shaking stuff when you have a car on, you know, like, come on. See, I, I can't even get that out right now. See, and that's the problem is because it doesn't grow. There we go. So it finally will find its way in there. But the car, you know, it goes up and down on the jack. I just feel that's really dangerous too, trying to have to fill with that while you got a bunch of weight on there. This is also extremely sensitive, but it works good. Just trying to go real slow. There we go. Okay, cool. All right, guys. So the, once again, this was the Craftsman Jack and Jack Stand combo. You get it at Sears. I'll put the model on the screen. But yeah, I would not buy this. It, the construction is just not good. I do think Craftsman make good tools. I don't mean to just bash on them. I just made this video more than anything to maybe save someone's life because a jack stand that can break like that, that could really mess somebody up. One of my dad's best friends died while a car fell on him when he was working on it. So you know, it's not something you can mess around with. Mess around with. And at an early age, I, I knew how to use these properly. And yeah, and just the fact that you got to shake this thing to, to get the bar out of it and how finicky it is, I, I say go with something else. Hopefully Craftsman discontinued this and already have something better. But if not, uh, I would think twice about jacking up your car with this unless you're really careful or are a trained professional. So I hope you guys liked the video. If not, sorry, I'm going to have another one tomorrow. Video is every day around 8.30 p.m. So hit that subscribe button and I'll see you guys later. Go Hawks.